Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to make TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router act as Wi-Fi extender and Wi-Fi to LAN connector. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router. So, this is a 3G or 4G. So you need to insert the 3G or 4G USB dongle here. So you can see your 3G or 4G USB. So firstly, what you need to do is just power on this portable 3G or 4G TP-Link Wi-Fi router by connecting with the current. So let me power it up. So after powering it up, now what you need to do is you can see your this button is a reset button. So just tap and hold for a few seconds now all the lights are flashing so it's resetting now to the default password as well as the default name so wait for a few seconds so now after resetting it's done on this TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router now on your router just set this button to WISP that is the wireless internet service protocol so you need to set in the WISP just set this button to WISP on your respective router so now on your computer what you need to do is just open the connection option so let me show you so here it's being detected my TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router so just let us try to connect this So we have been connected with our TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router. So let us open a web browser. Now in the web browser, we need to type one IP address 192.168.1.1. So you need to type this. 192.168.1.1 and after that just hit enter now it will ask you for uh, set a new password so the default password will be uh, admin and reconfirm it admin click on let's get started now select your time zone so in my case it's the Madras Kolkata Mumbai and New Delhi so in your case it might be different so select your respective country time zone now just click on next now you have an option here to put the host SSID so you can either manually type the SSID that is the username as well as the password here so you can do a scanning also if you already have our internet connections then you can just click on scan wait for a few seconds so you can see in my case I have already a uh, different TP-Link Wi-Fi connections so you can see the different strings so I have two different routers right now which have our uh, internet connections right so you can see the signal string also whichever you want to use you can use here so I'll use the battery signal string tp link one so I'll just click on this icon as you can see linked icon I'll just click on it now it will automatically add all the host MAC address as well as the it will select the what type of security this router is using so here the password will not be automatically added so you need to manually add the your respective host Wi-Fi password so what password you are already using on your respective router just put that same password so let me put it so I put my existing Wi-Fi router password so kindly put the same password with your existing Wi-Fi router and after that 
just click on next and just keep this option as dynamic IP just keep it don't try to change it just keep it as dynamic IP and click on next and now you can see here you can change the wireless network name and password also if you want to change the name of this Wi-Fi router that is the TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router SSID name as well as the password you can change with your own custom username or password so I will just try to change here I'll just put it home and I'll just type different password here and just click on next so you will get the details here so the host network that is your existing router SSID as well as the password will be shown here as well as your TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router SSID and password which you have set will be shown here you can keep similar to your host network also still it will act as a Wi-Fi extender if you use different or same name also so don't worry now click on save now it will reboot your TP-Link 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router so have patience so now your TP-Link 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router will be restarting so wait for a few more seconds so now once you see this tree light is showing up on your TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router that means you have successfully set your TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router as an Wi-Fi extender so now let us check on the computer if the internet connection is really working or not so now just move back to the connection option and now you can see here so I'll just click on here and I'll just select connect automatically and just click on connect so it has been connected and it's secure that means it requires a password and now after connecting to your TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router just click on this finish now wait for a few seconds so now you can see here it's already showing that it's been connected to the internet and now you can see here it is being connected with different clients also you can see some details everything here so I'm not going to discuss much about the settings inside this application so we have successfully make our TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router as a Wi-Fi extender so let us try to browse a Google so finally you can see the Google page is loading so let me click on this image also so you can see it's perfectly working fine so now I will try to make this TP-Link portable 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router act as Wi-Fi to LAN connector so I'm gonna use my LAN cable I'll put it in here as well as in my other end to my computer and let's check if this wireless Wi-Fi will allow me to connect to the LAN connector and if I can access the internet or not after that so let me insert this LAN cable inside this Wi-Fi router now on your computer you can see here on the connection option you can see your uh, internet connection icon so let me show you by going to network internet settings so you can see here our uh, internet is being connected so finally this wireless Wi-Fi is allowing to connect our LAN connection also so you can see it's acting as our internet connections also so let us try to open our web browser so finally you can see the web page is loading that means even the Ethernet connections is also working perfectly so let me click on this image so you can see here when I can access any web page that means the internet is working properly on board as a Wi-Fi extender mode or the Wi-Fi to LAN connections mode so using this cool tricks you can make TP-Link portable Wi-Fi 3G or 4G Wi-Fi router act as Wi-Fi extender and Wi-Fi to LAN connector very easily. So if you never known about the school tricks, then you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.